Hello everyone and welcome to Adam Sharp YouTube channel. Now in this video, I want to use AI, um, ChatGPT, to create a very simple, like a tip calculator app. Now I have been using AI and ChatGPT for quite some time now, and I do use it in my projects and actually in my latest courses, I am also showing you live that how I use it, like to refactor my code, get some database diagrams and all that stuff. Uh, and also help with the CLI tools for SQLize, for Node, Express.js, all of that stuff. So how can I use it to complete most of the app? I mean, Tip Calculator sounds like a simple app. And by the way, obviously this video is completely unscripted because I want to show you what ChatGPT is generating and then maybe we can use it. So our requirements is something that we need a slider view where you can adjust the tip to be like 5%, maybe 10%, and like 15%. And whenever you do that, you also have obviously some sort of a total that you put over here. So total text box. And whenever you change these numbers, 5% is like low, I guess, 10%, 15%, then a smiley face will appear. And if it's like a higher percentage, whatever, let's say greater than 15%, then the smiley face will be like a happy face. Uh, if it's like five or even 10%, it will be a sad face. All right, we can cover all of those different things later, but let's see then how we can generate that. I can obviously do that if I just write the code myself, but what can we do like if I ask ChatGPT to do it? All right, let's see. So I have ChatGPT over here. Um, what should I ask it? Well, let's see, create a tip calculator calculator in SIF UI, um, it should contain a slider with, uh, well, percent intervals, I guess, five percent intervals, um, starting from zero till, I guess, 100 percent. Um, when percentage is increased, a smiley face uh, appears on the screen, representing the percentage selected. Now you can see I'm misspelling a lot of these things, but I don't think it really matters. Okay, so representing the percentage selected, 5% to 10% will be a uh, unhappy face and uh, you know anything over than 10% will be a uh, happy face. Also add a text box to allow user to enter total amount. All right. Well, let's see what it uh, what it does actually. All right, that's perfectly fine. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh wow. Okay. Mm, slider view. I don't really see any slider view right now. Maybe it's gonna add that. Okay. There we go. It's adding a slider view. This is insane, right? I mean, it's been able to generate the whole thing that I said. Wow, uh, let's copy the code. And what is this called? Tip calculator view. That's not a big deal. Uh, we can go over here, this is fine. I think I just have to go over here and say tip calculator view. That will be my root view, tip uh, calculator view. Okay, yeah, that's still called content view, but whatever. Let's see if it uh, generates that. Wow, okay, <laughs> I'm already impressed, but let's see, uh, $100 tip amount is zero. Okay, yeah, it's going by five. Wow, I mean, okay, that's uh, pretty good, right? I mean, yeah, I guess you can use more of these smiley faces because it's right now it's only like two of them. Um, I don't know what they're called, like uh, medium face or, you know, but there you go, we were able to generate the whole 
tip calculator in like a couple of seconds. Wow, this is uh, insane, right? So that's pretty cool. That's pretty interesting. So let me know how you like this video because I what I'm planning to do is to use ChatGPT to create more complicated apps. Now those apps will, I would say I like for those apps to be at least 90 to 95 percent ChatGPT generated and those can be in like different apps. So it can be like surf data apps or maps app, map apps and some sort of an app that create, I mean, uh, you know, get the data from an API, like a real apps. Uh, I mean, tip calculator is kind of cool, but it's uh, obviously a very simple app. But I think it's a, it's a good start. I mean, if we look at the code, code also looks, looks fine to me. I mean, it's not like something crazy going on. It's uh, well documented. It's, uh, it's a nice code. Yeah, I would probably use, I wonder if uh, it can actually help me use the correct formatters over there, right? Uh, I wonder if I can ask ChatGPT, but what would I ask ChatGPT? Uh, can you update this to use the correct format option for text using currency? All right, let's see. Well, don't update the whole thing. I already gave you the code. That's all I needed to update. All right, let's see what it does. I mean, it's just updating the whole thing now. It's writing the whole thing again. Uh, I do have a plus account with ChatGPT. Uh, so, all right, we have to wait, I guess, when it's done. Uh, let's see. Mm, okay, I guess, yeah, okay, yeah. That sounds about right, you know. I guess it's using like string concatenation to, you know, concatenate the temp amount, the static text. But uh, that should be okay. I mean, we're using 100 over here. I mean, the dollar, because that's my local currency or locale. But yeah, if you're using different currency, then it should be, uh, it should be different. Yeah, euros or something. Wow, this is impressive. Pretty cool. So let me know what you think and would you be interested in such a course when you're using ChatGPT to create pretty much like the complete app, but a little bit more complicated app, not like a tip calculator, like app that reads stuff from an API. The app can, uh, should another app can be a near me app where you can find near, near taco or pizza stores. And the other app can be like a SIF data app for budget management, you know? So let me know. Hope you have enjoyed it. Thank you so much.